I think that being neurodivergent has some major positives. Um, one, I, I, I think that much like it, like if you if you exist as part of any sort of um, you know disadvantaged minority, mm-hmm. yeah, then you know it, 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 I think it it gives you a potentially more understanding and compassionate um, disposition. Because um, you have to think about others' minds. Like, if you are part of a disadvantaged minority, you often uh, are being disadvantaged. You're often in situations that are difficult. You often have people who may be well intentioned but are making your situation worse. So you have to think about other people, why they do the things they do, why they're making your life more difficult, why is this situation not set up, and think about what the alternatives could look like. You also have to, in a way, not justify other people's behaviour, but you have to try and understand how these very nice, compassionate people could be making your life a lot more difficult. Um, and so, yeah, I think it, it does... Well, yeah, I think in terms that. of that, but also in terms of the fact that, like, my struggle makes it easier to understand your struggle. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and so that, I that's think, I think that that is... Well. Uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I think it helps with empathy. Um, well, that's what, I, that's what I often find a lot of autistic people. Like, we can share empathy, those empathy points for each other because we have literally been through some of the same kind of traumas. So, Just the conversations that I have with, like, my neurodiverse friends... More interesting, right? <laughs> far more interesting, o- often. Um, like, well, there's just... It's the sort of thing, I mean, well, I, I guess, like, me and some of my friends have will have a lot of conversations around neurodiversity and different traits and, and how it sort of plays into people's lives. Um, and, like, what those are conversations that we're able to have because we have this particular shared understanding. Um, and so I've, I've, I think that, yeah, like, the experience of being neurodiverse opens up this sort of shared community of understanding. Um, I think it sometimes, you know, it can mean the conversation is more free-flowing because you automatically have that basic understanding of each other, that basic empathy. You've been through some of the same life experiences. You have the, the same gripes, the same challenges. And it just means that all of that surface, that foundation level, you know, you just can, we can skip more into it and we're more likely to talk about the big things, aren't we? Anyway. Well, yeah, that's definitely a factor. <laughs> they, they say, I think you know, it's also talk. just... Our small talk is... Uh... It, there, there's this, it's strange, right? Because I feel as if, like, you can recognise someone as being known diverse without them ever saying anything oh, about yeah. it, or without having even necessarily known them long. It's a bit, like, it's something that would seem sort of illogical, but at times it feels as if, like, there's a sort of secret, unwritten, unspoken, like, language but that's what the neurotypicals say you know there's unspoken secret rules you know if i meet some autistic people straight away we are communicating like we are best friends the mask has dropped it's we're being silly we're being ridiculous we're engaging we can have intelligence we just do seemingly it's like we've we've known each other for years um and then other people we do not understand each other we grind each other's gears we cannot really talk or have conversations yeah. very stilted and muted um yeah, because sometimes like I'll meet someone and like yeah, I'm just meeting them. I don't really know anything about it, but like something within me can already sense yeah, that, like the yeah they're neurodiverse in some way. Some but also there is just a um, a sense of I don't I don't know it, like it makes you feel a bit relaxed like and and I think a lot of this is all happening very subconsciously yeah. Um, but yeah, there, there's that kind of sense of relief. It's like, oh, I feel positively about this person. I feel a greater level of connection with this person um, without us having to like really converse in any significant way. See, see, I wonder how much of that is their particular blend of autism and how much of it is the experience on top of that. Um, because again, the things you've been through in life, those kind of traumas, those difficulties, those challenges, those points of empathy, the the way you express your care, your compassion, how you hold your body, how you move your body, how it reacts, the, the smells you give off in relation to stress, all those things, we're getting so much information when we meet a person. I feel that like, if, if I looked at like all, all, all the people that I've met and like just sort of struck that kind of like very fast bond with, like, 
if we were to go through all those people, I think you'd find a significant majority of them are neurodivergent. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and like, yeah, it doesn't need to be like an active thing that I'm thinking about. It just, it, and, and that's another thing. I, I find that like but, 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 neurodivergent people like coalesce. I'm gonna, yes, but I'm going to push back against you now. I I agree with everything you've said, but I also know uh, that quite a few of the people I bonded really well with across time are some of them are not neurodiverse. They've just grown up around neurodiverse people. Like it's another family member. You yeah. can argue the genetics, or they've just been to lots of places where they are. They have friends. They've had partners, and then that's the part where it's maybe not neurodiversity. It's the experience side, which is also what I'm arguing. Oh no, I would agree. Um, yeah, I, I don't see that's contradictory at all. Um, yeah, just uh, yeah, I think in, just in practice, or or at least in my experience, two things. What well, one, as as I said, I, th I think that like you would probably, I would expect to find that a greater number of people that I have met and found an instant connection with are neurodiverse. And also, um, my experience has very much been that um, neurodivergent people find each other. They do, yeah, we do.